is a presentation of Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. We are LA. After another terrific homestand, the Angels are red hot and have the second best record in all of baseball. Tonight, Albert Pujols and the Angels look to keep the heat on deep in the heart of Texas. Angels, Rangers, next. Continues here on Fox Sports West. We are at Globe Life Park for game one of a four-game series against a division rival, a Texas Rangers. It is hot. It is windy, as it usually is. And the Angels trying to keep their winning ways rolling here in Texas. Hi, everybody. From inside Globe Life Park, we welcome you back to Angels Baseball on Fox Sports West, along with Mark Gubiza. I'm Victor Rojas. And we'd love to tell you there's good news on Garrett Richards, but there isn't. He lost out to Chris Sale in the American League final vote, but the Angels did get good news today as Eric Ibar has been named to the American League All-Star team, replacing the injured Alex Gordon. Yeah, Victor, we've been talking about that for a long time. He deserved to be there from the beginning, but uh, getting named in an All-Star, Eric Ibar certainly was happy today. I had a conversation with him. So excited to be part of the AL All-Star team. His numbers, 31 extra base hits. He's been doing a great job as far as driving in runs, scoring runs. His defense, back in 2000, Eleven won a gold glove. He may win a gold glove again this season, the way he's fielding the baseball. Fielding percentage at the top in the American League. Talk about those RBIs is leading shortstops in the American League also. Last shortstop to make the All-Star team, third base coach Gary DeSarcina back in 1995. Deserving, no question about it. And it's great to see Eric Ibar on that All-Star team. Well, let's see if the Angels can keep their home winning ways rolling out on the road. It's been a struggle for them away from the big A. And this would be a good way to uh, finish off the proverbial first half. Hector Santiago on the mound for the Angels and is Kobe Lewis a veteran going for Texas. We're just about ready for baseball here in Arlington. Sit back and relax. Lineups and first pitch when we return.
Texas game one of a four game series between your Halos and the Texas Rangers first visit of the year for the Angels here. They will have one visit uh, in each of the last three months. Play Texas. It's uh, kind of odd to see the scheduling this way and that uh, the Angels have not played here in the first three months of the season. See if they can uh, turn things around. It's not been pretty for the Angels here in this ballpark over the last couple of years. Let's take a look at the lineup for Mike Sosha tonight. The Angels at 53 and 37. At the start of the day, three and a half back in his second place of the Oakland Athletics, who actually uh, won today against the San Francisco Giants, and now four back of the A's. Cole Calhoun leading things off and right. The all-star Mike Trout is in center. Pujols in first. Josh Hamilton in left. Eric Ibar named for the all-star team before the game today. He was the shortstop. Howie Kendrick in second. David Freeze in third. C.J. Crow in the D.H. And Hank Conger gets to start behind the plate. They take on the 34-year-old right-hander native of Bakersfield, California, by the name of Colby Lewis. Colby Lewis fastball is 87-92. Slider, curveball, solid changeup. The keys against Colby Lewis, though, and the Angels haven't had a ton of success, though, is left-handed swing success. Left-handers in 378 against him in his career. In that right field approach, the ball carries so well, right field to right center field. That's what you're going to try to do against Colby Lewis because he lives away with his fastball. Check out the uh, Texas Rangers defensively tonight behind Colby Lewis. Malinsky, Martin, and Rios in the outfield from left to right. Beltre, Andres, Rosales, and Pena from third to first. And Chirinos is behind the plate. And Elvis Andrews is the guy that plays outstanding defense. 810 games started at short substance 2009. Eric Ibar right behind him. Alexi Ramirez leading. For his starts and shortstop has committed 10 errors, winning percentage 971 for Andrews this season. Warm night for baseball here in Texas. Uh, temperatures touching uh, triple digits earlier today, but not muggy, so it's just a kind of a dry heat, which is good considering uh, sometimes here, even in North Texas, you can get some humidity and uh, bog you down a little bit. Temperatures are cooling, if you will, into the 80s at night. Wind is blowing out of the south, so you might get that jet stream out to right center field. Folks still love uh, filing in here at Globe Live Park. The first pitch tonight will be delivered by the UPS store. Texas at 38 and 53. Just got swept by the Houston Astros here. They're now tied with the Astros for fourth place in the American League West. 19 games back. Calhoun ready to lead things off. The first one tonight is in there for a strike. Lance Barrett calling the balls and strikes. Ron Copa first. Jim Reynolds at second. Clint Fagan over at third. Veteran up hiring crew. The exception being Fagan at third base. Cole yesterday one for four. Two run home run in the fourth inning. He pulls this one foul. Snowballs two strikes. Calhoun hitting 293. Ten home runs and 24 runs batted in. He had a hot. Homestand eight for 22 with two home runs and three RBI for Calhoun. Look at that big two run home run yesterday. 13 doubles, one triple. We've made mention of the struggles the Angels have had on the road. Just a game under 500 away from the big A. Check swing. They wanted to peel and did not go. It's one ball, two strikes. 21 and 22 on the Angels away from the big A. And Mike Sosha was asked that question before the game. He said, remember earlier in the season, everyone was asking why you're not playing well at home and so well on the road. Now it's changed around. He just said, we're just trying to play good baseball everywhere right now. One, two, pulled down the line. That's a fair ball. It'll sneak into the corner. Calhoun will at least get two out of it. Rios with a good throwing arm. Hustles up. He's going to try to go to third. Here comes the relay, and it gets away from Beltre into the seats. Your and the Angels home run. will have a 1 nothing lead. It'll go as a triple and an error. Adam Rosales' throw, short hopping Adrian Beltre. Boy, hit well, got a fastball, and lefties continue to have success against Lewis right down the line. Goes around the corner. You mentioned Rios. He does have a very good throwing arm. Got it in quickly to the cutoff man. And they might have had a play on Brazil's good throwing arm, too. But a one hop throw to Adrian Belcher gets away off his body and into the stands for a run for the Angels. Well, Rosales gets charged with his first error of the year, the 65th committed by Texas. Nobody on. Nobody out. And Mike Trout at the plate. For Cole, it's his second triple of the year. Trout takes down low. 
Mike in 303, 20 home runs, 64 runs batted in. One for four game yesterday with a base hit. Looks at a strike. You mentioned those 64 errors coming into the game for the Rangers. Generally, you think of Texas with a very solid defensive club, fundamentals. And at the bottom, and the Cleveland with the worst fielding percentage in the American League in Texas. Two balls and a strike. Halos on their last uh, road trip went three and three through Kansas City and Chicago. That's in there for a strike, even a count of two or two. Lost two or three to the Royals and one, two or three against Chicago. Albert Pujols on deck. Two, two now. Foul back. Colby Lewis, six and five and a five, five, one ERA. Much different pitcher than he was a couple of years ago prior to the injuries had elbow surgery in July of 2012 then had hip surgery last year in August. Tough numbers at home too. ERA well over six. Lewis did pitch uh, well against the Angels picked up the win on May the second at the big A. They want to check swing appeal and did not go Ron Culpa at first base so it's a full count. In his career, Colby Lewis five and four, at a 4.23 ERA against the Angels. One nothing Halos. A triple by Cole Calhoun to throw from Rosales, skipping off of Beltre into the seats. Cole scoring. A little dribbler on the third base side. Gonna go for an infield base hit. It's a wise decision by Beltre, just holding on to that baseball. Now let's take a look at our AT&T Ubers rewind from yesterday's. Big victory coming back. Reason why? This man right here, Albert Pujols, with Mike Trout on at first base. Dead center field. Two run home run. His 20th just over the glove. Erasmus in center field. Two run home run. Even if the victory yesterday. Albert hitting 270 now in the year. 20 home runs and 60 runs batted in. Team doubles as well. Swings to the first one and drives it into center. A base hit. Boy, is he getting locked in. A lot of middle of field approaches lately for Pujols and the other way. And his batting average now over 270. Along with his 20 home runs and 60 RBI. Albert had five multi hit games during that seven game homestead. Picks up a knock. Josh Hamilton with some booze as he's introduced here. As Trout at second and Pools at first with nobody out here in the first inning. 283 average for Josh. He swings and drives one out to right. Alex Reels moving back on this one. Pulls up. That's off the top of the wall. Trout had to hold up for a second. He's being waved in. Here comes a throw to the plate and safe at home. That's a great slide. Ryan Watson may have that check, but it's all because of the slide and that path, clear path to the plate. And Ron Watson is going to have a check. Mike Trout had no choice because Albert Pujols was right behind him. And not a good read by Trout. Pujols read it well, but Trout, I think, fooled by the fact that the Rios looked like he was going back to catch it. As we take a look at the replay at the plate. Boy, strong throw from Rosales. And the hand, no tag apply. Looked like the hand was on the plate. Great slide by Mike Trout. Avoiding the tag. Torino's tried to catch it, but there's a path that has to be clear enough for a Mike Trout to get in there, and he did so. No review by uh, Ron Washington. So it's 2 nothing Angels. Hamilton with an RBI double. Picks up his 24th run batted in. Now that's good to see also from Hamilton. And here's a perfect slide, avoiding the tag. Just getting his hand on that back part of the plate. Torino tries to have a swipe tag. Unable to do so. Just missing the shoulder. Here's Ibar. First one down low. Eric hitting 283 with six home runs and 45 runs batted in those 45 RBIs.
leads American League shortstops. Bought base hit in yesterday afternoon's game. They're going one for four. Infield back, although Beltre near the cut of the grass at third. This one's pulled over to first. Coming home is Pujols. Payne, yeah, a little bit of a bobble there. They get the out. It's 3 nothing Angels. Yeah, he was going to come home. There's no question about it. But couldn't get a handle in the baseball. Pujols going on contact, scores. And Ibar now is 46th RBI. There's a play at the plate. There's no question for Pena. Very good fielding first baseman, but could not get the handle of the baseball. So Texas will play their infield in now with Howie Kendrick at the plate. Hamilton at third. And one out. Howie fouls off the first pitch. Kendrick at 289 average. After going one for four yesterday, picked up his 41st RBI on a base hit up the middle. I mean, this ballpark we've seen over the years, you just got to keep adding on and score when you can. It's a perfect opportunity to get the fourth run here at the top of the first with Halos with Howie at the plate. Counting it up at one ball, one strike. This one's driven out to right center field. Towering shot, playable for Leonis Martin. Deep enough to score a run. Hamilton crosses the plate in the Angels with a 4 0 lead. Good situational hitting in this inning. Aggressive base running. Producing four runs here at the top of the first. Good swing by Howie. Howie's been swinging the bat exceptionally well. And a great, great homestand. 13 for 26, 500 batting average at home for Howie. David Freeze, the seventh man to bat in this sitting, looks at a strike. Freeze yesterday on board three times with a single, a couple of walks, had an RBI, also scored a run. And fouls this one back. No balls, two strikes. David now hitting 257 with four home runs and 28 runs batted in. Cole Calhoun leading this one off with a triple just inside the first base bag and into the right field corner. Second triple of the year. Angels starting off this game with four consecutive hits. Looks like Lewis uh, stumbled there as he was delivering that last pitch. It's one ball, two strikes. Lewis making a 16th start of the year. That's a called strike three. Down goes Freeze. And the Angels' top of the first is in the books. We'll head to the bottom of the first. Halo's on top, 4 nothing.
We'll check out Ron Washington starting nine for the Texas Rangers at 38 and 53 on the season. Game number 92 for them. Shinsu Chu will lead things off. He's the DH. Elvis Anders in short. Alex Rios in right. The all-star Adrian Beltre is the cleanup hitter at third base. Jake Smolinski is the left fielder. Carlos Peña at first. Robinson Chirino is the catcher. Leonis Martin at center. And Adam Rosales gets to start tonight at second base. Taking on Hector Santiago. Still looking for that first win. 0-7. And a 4.50 ERA. Yeah, the mindset for Hector. He's got to treat it as if it's 0-0 zero, zero here in the bottom of the first. Put, put up a 0 and 7 so far this year. But his pitch much better late. And the keys for Hector to be successful today. Maintain calm focus. Don't get too hyper on the mound. And mix your pitches up. First one to Shinsu Chu is a little bit high. It's one ball, no strikes. The uh, the big inning has been uh, an issue for Hector Santiago. He left five runs in his last start. The third inning. This is back up the middle off the mound, and that's going to sneak through for a leadoff single. So the man on for Elvis Andrews as we take a look at the Angels defensively. Josh Hamilton in left, Mike Trout in center, Cole Calhoun in right. The infield has David Fries, Eric Ibor, Howie Kendrick, and Albert Pujols from third to first with Hank Conger serving as Hector Santiago's battery mate. And that's the key for Hector today, having Hank Conger. They've worked well together. 19 start a catching position since June 4th for Hank Conger. Zero overs, 10 assist record, 14 and 4. But most important, Hank Conger, when he catches Hector Santiago, is ERA 3.38. Frames the ball very well, which is going to be important here for Hector. Santiago in that last start was the Saturday game against Houston. Five innings. Elvis Andrews looks at a strike. The shortstop hitting 268 with a couple of home runs, 22 runs batted in. His 21 doubles on the year. Calhoun shallow in right field, as he should be with Elvis Andrews at the plate. This one's fouled off to the right. Yeah, how many times have we said that over the years now? Just pitch him away, bring your right fielder in, take away that flare to right field, especially with two strikes on him right now. And even with that last swing, the approach was get the hands inside the baseball and try to. Punch it the other way. Anders has reached safely via hit or a walk in seven straight. He's been a little bit better of late. Shen Ju over at first. Lead off single for him. Upstairs. One ball, two strikes. Andrews has hit well against the Angels, especially of late, a 367 average over the last 22 games. This one's popped up. Shallow right, Kedrick going out, Calhoun coming in, Cole makes the call and the catch, one out. Shallow fly to right field, it's where you want to play him. Right. Day key, let's go down here, country music area, we are tonight. It's all about playing this game tonight, don't look ahead, the all-star break coming up. After the game on Sunday, so the focus has to be right here tonight for the club, especially at their great homestand. The conversation about playing better on the road. The bottom line is play well. We are tonight and go put it all together. One out, one on, and Alex Rios, the right fielder, now up. First one in for a strike. Rios a 303 average. That's four home runs, 19 doubles, eight triples. 39 runs batted in. Breaking ball, lifted down the right field line. Looks like it's slicing towards the seats and out of play. Certainly a double play candidate. He's rolled into 16 of them this season. Angels last year played 10 games in Arlington. Halos went one and nine. A staff ERA of 5.75. It's a new season. Yes, it is. Time for a change. Boy, it did miss by much. One and two. It's a great miss, though. We talked about the need to be able to throw that fastball just off the outside corner. Now, Rios has to think in terms is he going back out there? Is he going to throw a breaking ball? Is he going to throw in a changeup? You have options now.
Two and two now. These two teams have met twice already, both at the Big A. The Angels four and two against Texas. Hector Santiago take to a four nothing lead in the first. Two two, breaking ball outside. So from zero two to three and two, you always got to pay attention to uh, Shin Su Chu at first base. That's three stolen bases this year. Will pick his spots, that's for sure. And Ron Washington remembers, sees how well Mike Sosha has done going on a 3 2 count with one out. You may see him going, especially because Rios does roll into a lot of double plays. Two doesn't go, the 3 2 grounded toward the hole at short. Ibar's got it, they flipped the second for one, the relay back to first. You're not going to get Rios, but a nice job of getting the lead runner, two outs. Another solid defensive play by Eric Ibar. The All-Star. So man at first two away now, and Adrian Beltre coming to the plate. Four-time All-Star be in the target field on Tuesday. 336 batting average, second in the American League to Jose Altuve. 12 home runs and 49 runs batted in. Beltre with a monster month of June. Takes a strike at 392 in June. Four home runs and 22 runs batted in. Has skipped a beat in July. 13 for 36. That's a 361 average. Be honest with you on that one, Victor. Reality is when you look at this lineup now for Texas, with the number of the batters out of that everyday lineup. Really surprising how well he's hitting, showing some patience because you're, as a pitching staff, you're not going to give in to him at all, especially in any RBI situation. Down low. Counting it up at one ball, one strike. Texas has hit better on the road than they have at home this year. 256 average here at home, 267 out of the road. Uh, being told that uh, the jet stream, the first uh, six, seven weeks of the year, almost non existent here in this ballpark. So no uh, jet stream out to right center field. The stadium's actually played rather neutral. The numbers have been rather neutral. Texas 18 and 26 here at home. 20 and 27 out of the road. And 16 and 20 within a division. That's usually just the opposite. These are great numbers against the West. Very good numbers at home. Reason why there are where they are this season. Two one pitch in there. Two balls, two strikes. In the sequence so far, the four pitches thrown to Beltre. Two quality changeups from Santiago against them. You mentioned Texas playing well within their division. They certainly did last year. 53 and 23 against the West. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, and a man at first. Four nothing Angels. Breaking ball, and that's hooked to the left to base hit. Went down and got the breaking ball. Rios will stop at second. So two men on with two outs and Jake Smolinski coming to the plate. Yeah, a lot of times, especially after a change up to come back with the breaking ball. The speed allows him to stay back long enough. That was a pretty good pitch from Santiago, but he was able to get down and get that because he tracked the change up the pitch before. Jake Smolinski, the 25 year old. Big leagues for the first time. Five for ten. Double on an RBI. 
Originally a second round pick by the Nationals. 2007. Shinsu Chu's had his issues defensively, and uh, Ron Washington saying that Chu will serve as a DH through this four game series, giving Smolinski an opportunity to play left. Between double A AA and triple A this year, 267 average, 10 home runs, and 41 runs batted in. As Rios at second and Beltre at first. Off speed, a swing and a miss. Like screwballs from Santiago. He's been able to mix in his changeup effectively early on and end of late. And also mixing in some screwballs, which is a very important pitch for him, also. Oh, two on the way. Fastball up and away. And it is one and two. 20 pitches here in the first inning for Santiago. Foul back, fastball up. Take a look at the Kia standings. The American League West, Oakland leading uh, the charge. 58 and 34. That's a three of four for the uh, San Francisco Giants. So the Angels now at four back, needing a victory to remain three and a half back. Oakland uh, will take on Seattle over the weekend. And the odd thing is to see in Texas at the bottom. This one lie to left. That's going to go for extra bases. Reyes will score. Beltre heading to third. He's being waved in. And the throw from Ibar is not in time, and it's a two run double. It's four to two Angels. Walensky picks up uh, his second big league double and his second and third runs batted in. This time a change up that's up. It's by Hamilton. All the way to the wall. Trying to figure out why Hamilton yeah, didn't cut that got, ball yeah, off. I was just looking at the more you look at that, he cut that off to get in it quickly. He prevents Beltre from scoring. They might not even send him. Pettis may hold him there at third base. Texas right back in the game. What you want to do as a pitcher is put up a zero, especially when your offense scores four in the top of the first. Carlos Pena, the first baseman now up. Now you got to come out and throw strikes and uh, finish off, guys. Three hits allowed by uh, Santiago. Carlos Pena in camp with the Angels during spring training. Ended up signing with Texas, now playing in his 16th game with the Rangers. 149 average with a home run and two runs batted in. He skies went out to right field, hit pretty well. Cole Calhoun moving back. And it's an out, the third. And fortunately for Hector Santiago, Texas strikes for two. We'll head to the second. Halo's up 4 2.
The offense so consistent. Eight batters with at least two or more RBI led by Albert Pujols. Ten RBI on that six and one homestead. Howie Kendrick, seven, David Breeze. Six and the man coming to play, CJ Crone, had four RBI in that homestand. Handles inning seven men of the plate in the first inning, scoring four times, but uh, Texas striking for two against Hector Santiago, so it's four to two Angels. Eight, nine, and one for the Halos. Crone, Conger, and Calhoun. CJ looks at the strike. Crone two for four yesterday with a couple of singles, a couple of strikeouts. 286 average, nine home runs, 27 runs batted in. Takes another strike. Now, whatever the approach was in that first inning, I'd uh, feel the Angels, last thing you want to do is change anything. Because Colby Lewis settles in, could be uh, trouble, regardless of what his numbers have been. He has pitched well against the Angels, as we mentioned, picked up the win back on May the 2nd. This one's lined left. Smoleski giving chase. It'll fall in for a hit. Crone will stop it first, and it's a leadoff single. Well, that's a pretty impressive piece of hitting. He ran that fastball in on him after a couple fastballs away. Nice job of tucking his hands in. This one's well off the plate. And drives that one into left field. That's how strong CJ Crone is. It's a 474 career hitter. Hits the Rangers with three home runs. Here's Hank. 230 average for Hank. Eight doubles, three home runs, 17 runs batted in. Conger yesterday was behind the plate, went over two. Lines this one to center field. That'll get down for a base hit. Crone will stop at second. What'd you say about continuing that approach? Well, yep. they certainly have. It's good to see Hank get a base hit also and use the middle of the field. Mike Maddox, a pitching coach, out to pay a visit. Faces veteran. Talk to him. It's been a tough year for uh, Colby Lewis. Hey, folks, July 18th, the Angels take on the Mariners at 7.05. Fans in attendance will receive a Mike Trout gnome courtesy of Chevron Extra Mile while supplies last. Purchase tickets today at the Angel Stadium Ticket Officer by logging on at angels.com. That is the game face gnome for Mike Trout. <laughs> well, I guess that's one way of putting it. <laughs> Or perhaps the look that uh, he's going to give John Farrell if John Farrell puts him in the leadoff spot in Minneapolis. <laughs> <laughs> or if somehow his roommate doesn't get added on at some point in Garrett Richards yeah, that's to that all-star squad. Cole Calhoun tripled at the first. Scored on the throwing error by Adam Rosales. Beltre in on the grass at third. Pena near the cut of the grass at first. Off speed pitch in there for a strike. Halos with six hits now against Colby Lewis. Now, second time through the order. That was like a little slide step. And the slide step changeup. Yeah. Uh, Through all the timing of Cole Calhoun. He's had a tough time against left handed batters, as we've seen in this game already. Three of the hits so far have been by left handed batters against him. Cole skies one down the left field line. Elvis Andrews cutting across into foul territory. Man, can't make the play. He was there. Almost at the, at the last minute, maybe even it glanced off his bare hand. That's what it looked like when he was trying to make the play. He got there in plenty of time, then lost track of the baseball at the last second. Wait, the reaction almost as if he like lost it. Yeah, he got to that spot where the baseball was, then looked up at the last second, then it was already past his hand. Maybe glare or something, but Cole Calhoun, new life. Certainly in position to make the play and then took his eye yeah. off at the last second. 
One ball, two strikes on Calhoun. Nobody out. Two men on. Breaking ball down low. Last full season for Colby Lewis in a Rangers uniform was 2011. A 32 starts, 14 game winner. That was on the heels of the 12 and 13 season he had for Texas. His first year back in Major League Baseball after spending the previous year and a half in uh, Japan playing for Hiroshima. Two two. This one's pulled and past Pena down into the right field corner again. Crone will score. Conger racing to third. De Sarcina will stop him there. Calhoun with a double. Got two of the tough ones out of the way. Triple double. So three straight hits to start the second inning after they started the first with four consecutive hits. Well, in that break he got when Andrews unable to make the play on a pop up, hits it right down the line again by Pena. For an RBI double. Now Andrews could conceivably have been charged with an error. He wasn't. What if they changed that? Down the road. Trout looks at the uh, ball one. Infield well, base hit for Mike his first time up. Calhoun's happy he yeah. wasn't able to make that play. Exactly. Little dribbler on the left side. Gonna be a tough play for Elvis Andrews. Throws on the run and Trout is safe with another infield base hit. It's gonna look yeah. like two line drives. Six to two Angels. They get those two runs back. And Ron Washington's gonna go out and maybe check on it at this point. Look in to see if there was a play. Was he safe or out? Anders made a nice play on this slow roller by Trout. The transfer, excellent. Puts on the base. Trout will pick up an RBI, his 65th. It's two line drives for Trout in the game so far. I'd be curious to see what Wash. Uh, just said the trout on the way back to the dugout. He says, really? <laughs> you got 20 home runs, 24 doubles, and five home runs, yeah. and you got two infield hits. Foot, the extension, that quick speed, foot on the base, then ball on the glove. And Carlos Pena, the right call at first base. Nice job by the guys in the truck getting at that angle. First and third, nobody out. Pujols one for one with a single to center. Swings the first one. Skies with a right. Rios continues to drift back on the warning track. Bobbles the baseball. Calhoun will score. Travel stop at second. Seven to two Angels. Boy, what should have been an easy routine out. Well, that ball just kept drifting back. It's going to be a sack fly. For pull holes. And a similar thing, what we saw with Andrews is kind of took his eye off the baseball as it goes by his glove and in and out of the glove and off the wall. Rios gets charged with an error. That's his fifth of the year. How about we get an RBI on that one? His 61st. Hamilton pulls one inside the bag. That's a fair ball. It'll carry him off the wall into shallow right. Josh continues to run to second. Trout scores. Pujols stops at third as the throw comes home. Looked like Albert wanted to run through the stop sign. Eight to two Angels. Four in the first, four in the second. And of course, Ryan Washington to go to the bullpen. There's some movement down there now. That's the second double of the game for Hamilton right down the line once again over the base. Two doubles and that's another thing great to see Josh Hamilton two very good swings early in this game. It's been a struggle for him of late but certainly not tonight. Second and third still nobody out here's Ibar. 
Pujols at third, Hamilton at second. Got jammed, rolls it foul. Nine hits for the Angels so far. Eric picked up his 46th run batted in on the ground down in the first. Ground ball pass Rosales into right center field. Hamilton will be stopped at third base. Boy in the all star with his second RBI of the game. This is the second inning. Some big time numbers already for the Halo batters in this game. They're only in the second and they're still. No outs here in the second. And the thing is, is that the uh, bullpen has been so overused with young guys for Texas that might be Colby Lewis having to suck up some innings here. It's difficult too with the infield in for a fielder to make a play like that as a hitter. You love it when you see the infield in. Their reaction time is much different than as if they were playing back. First and third, nobody out. Here's Howie Kendrick had a sack fly to deep right center the first. Back at first pitch, fouls it back. Ramon Mendez getting ready now for Texas. And not doing it uh, with any sense of urgency out of the pen. Those swings against Lewis, I don't blame him. I've been taking my time too. Hoping they get tired at that point. And there's a total of two innings in the big leagues in his career. RBI the Kendrick picked up in the first inning, his 42nd of the year. Hamilton at third, Ibar at first, and Eric with a big lead at first base. Count even up at one ball, one strike. Lays off the breaking ball. 40th pitch at Colby Lewis is thrown. Kendrick, the eighth man to bat here in the second. And still nobody out. Ground ball towards short. Andrews takes it himself, fires it first, a double play. Two down. Angels lead is now 10 to 2. Josh, Josh, RBI. Josh scoring his second run of the game. Calhoun with two runs scored. Trout with two runs scored. Pulse with two runs scored. Hamilton, two runs scored. And here's David Freeze with two outs and the base is clear. David, a strikeout victim to end the first. Pulls this one to third. Adrian Beltre has it and freeze twice now. Has ended the inning. This time with a ground out. The Halos battle around here in the second. And they drop a six spot on the Texas Rangers. We head to the bottom of the second inning. Halos leading it 10 to 2.
Colby Lewis first two innings a 10 to 2 deficit for the Texas Rangers 10 hits allowed as the Angels just batted around at the top of the second near the bottom of the second Serenos Martina Rosales hits the bottom third of the order Hector Santiago unable to perform a shutdown inning in the first see if he's capable of doing that here in the second inning Texas scoring uh, two runs on three hits in that first inning. Robinson Chirinos to lead things off. He's the catcher. And he's really done a nice job with this uh, Rangers ball club. But, uh, going into the season, they had planned on having Giovanni Soto and JP Aaron Sibia splitting the duties. Soto got hurt. Aaron Sibia is gone. Chirinos has uh, done a nice job at 251 average, nine home runs, 27 runs batted in, a good defensive catcher. Yeah, he's throwing at over 43% of would be base dealers. That's outstanding. It's a big rip comes up empty. It's no balls and two strikes. Trinos had been in the big leagues before briefly 20 games for the Rays back in 2011 13 games with Texas last year. And he swings and misses goes down. We're out number one. Coming up later in the game, we'll bring you the ATT fan photo of the game, but we need your help. Tweet us your photo using hashtag WestFanPhoto. It could be shown in an upcoming game broadcast. Well, speaking of tweeting, the fans did a great job as oh. far as tweeting votes for Garrett Richards. Not quite enough to overtake Chris Sale overall, but what a job. A lot of support from Angel fans, baseball fans, and Richards fans. They did it on the tweets at one point today. The uh, the number one trending hashtag was vote G rich. There's Garrett. But uh, the overall vote total going to Chris Sale as Martin lines went out the left. Two down. Sale having uh, over six million votes. Both Chicago players on the final vote getting in. Sale and uh, Anthony Rizzo, the Chicago Cubs. Thought Justin Morneau was going to get there. Be able to go home to Minneapolis. Putting together some outstanding numbers for Colorado this year. Morneau will be going back, however, for the uh, home run derby. He was the uh, fifth man selected by the National League team today. Josh Donaldson added for the American League team as Rosales looks at the strike. Two up, two down for Hector Santiago here in the second. Gonzalez looks at strike two. Four for 12 in the big leagues this year. Talk to Weaver again today. He's ready for his start on Saturday. Feels great. Gonzalez was hitting 276 at Triple A. Round rock. Reaches for this one. Rolls it foul. Garrett will get the start on Saturday. Garrett will go tomorrow. Tyler Skaggs will go on Friday. Just did make a move, a couple of moves today. CJ Wilson being put on the disabled list with a, a sprained ankle. Supposed to mix, uh, at least according to Jerry, to put it two to four weeks. He might miss uh, one or two starts after the All Star break. Corey Rasmus replaced him on the uh, roster, and the Angels also brought up Drew Rasinski, an independent ball player, played a double A. Halo still on top.
is back out. Angels setting up Crone, Conger, and Calhoun, the same three guys that led off the second inning. The Angels batting around in that second inning. Six runs, six hits. One error. Crone skies one out to a shallow left field. Elvis Andrews calling for it. He's out there. One down and again, just uh, almost uh, took his head off or the eye off the baseball. Well, he's pretty fortunate, Colby Lewis. That ball is still in play now because that was elevated. CJ Crone just pulled off enough. Hit this one extremely high. As Andrews, again, as the ball is coming down, losing baseball. Hey, Conger with a base hit into center in the second. First time that uh, Colby Lewis has retired the leadoff man as Hank looks at a strike. Off speed pitch. No balls, two strikes. Ten runs on the board for the Angels. Eight are earned. Two honored runs. Big drop fly ball by uh, Alex Rios off the bat of Albert Pujols. Last inning kind of continued the offensive output for the Angels. O2 inside. Still surprised that Andrews wasn't given an error on that one pop yeah. up that Calhoun hit. Well, this is the most earned runs that Colby Lewis has allowed this year. Most runs, period, and earned runs. Tank pulls it foul. Fredo feeling feisty in the heat here in Arlington. Making a nice play. We talked about that batting average for Lewis against left handed batters. 378 coming into the game. He's allowed six hits. Left handed batters are only here in the top of the third. Two balls, two strikes. Lewis coming off a win his last time out. He's on July 5th against the Mets. Three runs, two earned. Six innings of work. He's gone three straight starts without issuing a walk. So you know he's going to throw a lot of pitches and a lot of them in the strike zone. This is grounded toward the right side. Rosales with a dive came comes up with it. As he was playing a Conger, not in an overshift, but playing a more to pull on the infield. So a second hit of the night for Hank. Hey folks, on July 22nd, the Angels will be taking on the Baltimore Orioles at 7.05, and fans in attendance will receive a newly added Angels beach bag courtesy of Experian. While supplies last, purchase tickets by visiting the Angels Stadium ticket office or by logging on at angels.com. We know the base hit by a left handed batter against Lewis. And he has struggled. We showed that graphic a couple seconds ago at home, one and four with an ERA over six and a half. Cole Calhoun tonight. Two for two, a triple and a double, an RBI two run scored. Pops this one up on the uh, third base side, headed toward the seats. Boy, three at bats already in the game for Calhoun, and we're only in the third inning. Well, he has a triple and a double halfway there to the cycle. Triple his second of the year. The double is 14th. The RBI is 25th. One ball, one strike. Now he's got a big hole on the right side of the infield because Pena is holding Conger on. Before his two previous plate appearances, Pena playing straight up and he's been able to sneak those extra base hits just inside the bag. Well, that's when he's right over the bat for a double. One one on the way. Outside. Two balls, one strike. 
Nobody warming up from Texas here in this third inning. Ramon Mendez was up and loosening briefly in the second. Then uh, Howie hit into a double play and Freeze grounded out. And the Angels second. 54 pitches for Lewis so far. This is broken bat flare and that will fall in for a base hit. Conger will round second, head to third, and now Cole Calhoun, a home run shy of the cycle. Well, plenty of innings, and potentially two or three at bats at least in this game to be able to accomplish it. Well, he's looking as if he was trying to pull that ball. He went the other way, served it over the head of Andrews for a single. Triple, double, single. And travel back. He's two for two with two infield base hits, an RBI, and a two run score. Mendez back up and loosening. Well, you're trying to get some length out of your starter here, but these are the spots where you're just struggling to get an out, period. And now you're facing a guy who had two infield hits. Eventually, he's going to cover one against you. Oh, one count. Twelve hits for the Angels. One out here in the third. Conquer at third base, Calhoun at first. Way outside. Nice uh, backhand there by Torinos. Got ahead of the count, two and one. And that's not a comfortable feeling when you're on the mound and hitters are tracking location of all your pitches. Even when you throw a ball inside, you have a hitter that's tracking it off the plate inside. Albert Pujols on deck. Two one. Down and away. Those are the pitches that uh, Lewis has got Trout to uh, to chase, but both have resulted in uh, infield base hits off the end of the bat to the left side of the infield. This might be his last batter. Although, I don't know if you'd want uh, Mendes to come in with a base loaded situation to face Pujols if Trout reaches. This one's in first strike and it's a full count. Pretty good respect for on a 3-1 slider, especially how hot Albert Pujols has been. This is an Angels team that came at batting 297 in the month of July with 14 home runs. Cole takes off and Trout drives one out to center field. Martin giving chase. He's at the wall. Gone. A big fly for Mike Trout. 13 to 2 Angels. How about that production your one two in your lineup six for six six runs scored three run home run for Mike Trout 21st of the season the slider is down again anything down anywhere near the strike zone there's a good chance that Trout even though slightly out in front was still able to get the barrel of the bat on it his head is still and drives it out the center a three run home run chases Colby Lewis. He is done with one out here in the third. The Angels on tap 13 to 2.
19 to 2. Colby Lewis, the starter, is done after the uh, three run blast off the bat of Mike Trout. For Trout, his 21st of the year. He has four runs batted in tonight, has 68 runs batted in. Colby Lewis will uh, watch. They're in and out. Who's in, who's out? Ramon Mendez, the right hander from the Dominican Republic, now on in relief. Firm fastball for Mendez, 92 to 97. Slider. Change up split finger fastball. 13 runs, 11 earned against Colby Lewis. Mendez making his debut just a couple of days ago. He'll face Albert Pools. One out of nobody on here to third inning. There's the first one. Albert takes inside. Albert one for one was credited with a sack fly and an RBI in the second. Singled in the first inning. He's also scored twice. Fouls this one back. Another good hack. Boy, has Albert been swinging the bat well. Using that lower part of his body. In his arms extended, using the whole field, including that big home run we showed earlier tonight, yesterday. One one now. Break your ball in there. One and two. Albert now 16 to 43. Checked out 15 for 43 in the month of July. Already with 12 runs batted in this month. Foul back. 13 2 Angels here in the third. 13 hits. And Halo's already in this game. Two balls, two strikes. That is very deliberate. This is his time. There's a split finger fastball he tried to get Albert to swing at. 23 year old acquired in a trade for the Boston Red Sox. That was the Jared Salt and Lamacchio trade in July of 2010. Pitching this year at Triple A Round Rock. 2 2 now. Albert chops this one over to short. And Sanders has it. 2 down. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Los Angeles Angels and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP. So for the third time in as many innings, Josh Hamilton hears the chorus of booze rain down upon him. He's here for two with two doubles, two runs batted in, and two runs scored. Ten doubles on the year now. Takes a fastball for a strike. Josh now with 25 runs batted in. Now oh, speed out in front. First multi-hit game for Hamilton since. Friday's game against the Astros, in which he had a couple of singles. And he got him with another breaking ball. So, Mendez comes in and retires the two guys to get the Rangers out of this third. But the Halos tack on three runs, one swing of the bat by Mike Trout. Play after two infield hits.
hits a three-run home run to dead center field. Bottom of the third inning, Mike Trout with his 21st home run of the year. Three hit game for him. Same for Cole Calhoun. Hector Santiago coming off a 1 2 3 second will face the top of the order for Texas. First one's outside. Shinsu Chu had his base hit up the middle. The bottom of the first. One for one. DH tonight for Texas. Trout, the fastest in Angel history to get to that 500 hit mark. 423 games to get there. Garrett Anderson got there at 428 games. Just down of the way, two balls, two strikes to use a, a Tory Hunter line. Kind of reminds me of a young man. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. That was uh, on Peter Borges, remember? <laughs> we were in Baltimore. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty funny that day. <laughs> Tori was best. <laughs> Down goes Chu, second strikeout for Santiago. Good breaking ball. Stayed within his mechanics, did not overthrow. And gets Chu to chase the pitch out of the zone. And the keys for Hecker is mixing up those pitches. He's done that pretty good, especially the last couple of innings. Alvis Sanders takes upstairs. He's 0 for 1. Fly ball to shallow right. Now on Elvis Andrews, Adrian, pardon me, Alex Rios on deck, Adrian Beltre in the hole. Texas sent uh, six men of the plate in the first inning. After the Angels took a four nothing lead. Texas scored twice. It's in there, three and one. Angels with four runs in the first inning, six in the second, and three in the third. Last time the Angels scored four more runs in each of the first two innings of the game. 2001 against the Rockies in Colorado for the first five in the second. Not letting up in the third either. Three runs. 13 hits overall, 13 runs for the Halos. 3 2 fouled off to the right.
Now the payoff. Chopper to second. Oh, he waits for that second big hop. Two down. And here in the summertime, the heat dries out the field a little bit. That ground gets hard and a little kangaroo hop on occasion. Yeah, you can have those tough hops in the dirt. It's a good decision by Howie knowing that Rios wasn't able to get out of the batter's box real good because of that quality pitch by Santiago. He'll gather himself, get that last hop. Get him at first. Good to see Hector battle back to after falling behind 3 0 to get the out. Six in a row retired by the left hander since he gave up the double to Smolinski in the first. Rios cuts through that one. Alex Rios reached out of fielder's choice in the first and scored a run. One one now. It was just low. Two balls, one strike. Good miss. As far as location, good velocity too for Hector, 94. You want to live downstairs with your fastball. Tells you the life that Hector has on his fastball. It's a fastball count. Rio's late on that swing. Fourth game that Santiago's pitched in his career here. Second start. Down and in. Full count. 1 0 record. A 1.23 ERA against Texas in his career here. Payoff pitch. That is outside. A two out walk. The key for Hector is to clear that out of the mind. Yes, you do not want to ever walk a batter, especially when you're up by 11 runs, two outs. It's a good conversation quickly by Hank just to remind him of that. The lesser of two evils, right? Yeah, Rios is hitting just over 300, but you've got an extremely hot hitter in Adrian Beltran. He's waiting on deck for you. That's why you got to clear that negative thought in your mind as quick as possible. You made a mistake by walking Rios. And finish off the inning against a very good hitter in Beltre. Beltre with a base hit, a run scored at the first. Now it's two balls, no strikes. Two out walk Rios at first base short lead for him. Beltre skies went out to shallow right. Kendrick calling for as he drifts out. And that'll do it for Texas here in the third. Three in the books here at Globe Life Park. The Angels on tap 13 to 2.
Here in the fourth, Ibar Kendrick and Freeze to face Roman Mendez. Mendez came on in the uh, third inning and retired the uh, last two batters. Ground out and a strikeout. Colby Lewis, by the way, giving up a career high in hits 13. Runs allowed 13. And earned runs allowed in 11. He originally set the uh, previous career high back in 2007. Root Ned Odor takes over at second base for Adam Rosales. Rosales going over to shortstop, it looks like. So Elvis Andrews out of the game. High bar fouls it straight back. There's something bothering uh, Andrews. Certainly looked like he had vision problems. I'm so used to him making unbelievable plays. Didn't really read any pop ups his way at all. Ball on a strike on Ibar, who is one for two. An RBI ground into the first, an RBI single in the second. Two runs batted in, 47 on the year. First time the Angels had a shortstop. Get to the All Star Games is DeSarcina, 95. Late Jim Pagosi, six times made the All Star Game as a shortstop. DeSar was a very solid defender at shortstop, a leader in the clubhouse. Three balls, one strike. Mendez at Triple A this year, Round Rock. It's in 25 games. All in one record of 402 ERA, had three saves, 31 in the third innings, 39 hits, 30 strikeouts, 12 walks. And he walks the leadoff end to start the fourth. We're back in a pop up by Calhoun. Did not see that baseball. His eyes closed as he was getting underneath it. He had to go pretty good distance to get there, but he was in there in time. And another pop up in shallow left center field. Didn't look like he saw that until the very last second. The other thing, too, that we saw on that foul pop up that was off the bat of Cole Calhoun, that ball may have grazed his bare hand on the way down as he, he tried to get on the way. His finger a lot. Yeah. He was at shortstop during the course of the game. So once we uh, get word, we'll pass it along. But it's just pure speculation on our part to see uh, in the fourth inning, especially in this ballpark, how things can turn as quickly as they can. But the uh, starting shortstop no longer in for Texas. Howie with a sack fly and a double play ball, 0 for 1. One ball, one strike. Especially when you think the numbers Andrews has in his career against the Angels coming into the game, a 324 career hitter with three home runs, 33 RBI. Way outside. Two balls, one strike. Lead off walk, Eric Ibar. Kendrick dribbles one over to third. Beltre comes in, his only place to first. And there's the first down of the inning. Ivar ends up in scoring position. He'd be hard pressed to ever find anybody in this game that's come in on the baseball as well as Adrian Beltre, whether it's a bunt or a slow roller. He's so quick on his transfer and the different arm angles he can throw from and be accurate with his throw. So David Freeze now bats. So for two. A strikeout and a ground down for him. Just with a man at scoring position tonight. 
Halo six for eight. They've been in scoring position so far. Freeze won the MVP of the World Series back in 2011 against these Texas Rangers. 348 batting average with a home run and seven RBI. Put the slider down the way. Snowballs and a strike. It's three for 11 in the World Series here in Texas. Thought that would back. Big swing of the bat. Well. Especially the last couple of weeks. Yeah, the last 16 games, 396 for Freeze. 14 RBI. Outside. One ball, two strikes. Freeze in that uh, matchup against Texas. At 348. One big home run, seven runs batted in, and three doubles, one triple in game six. High bar over at second, creeping off. Three strikes out. Brown number two, second strike out for David. Second for Mendez. Two outs for CJ Crow, DH tonight. CJ one for two, a single and a pop up. Mendez oh. is still a pretty good breaking ball. This has come in the game in relief. Decent split finger fastball also. Made that big league debut Tuesday against Houston with two scoreless innings. One ball, one strike. Reliever down at Triple A, so you wonder how many innings or how many pitches they push the youngster. It's most of last year. It is stress fracture in his right elbow. There's so many key components of the rotation out. Matt Harrison. Derek Holland, two very, very good, talented, young left handed arms for the Rangers. Not available for Ron Washington. Two balls, one strike on Crone. Ivar standing at second. We're in the fourth. Oh, lays off and it's three and one. I think Torinos was hoping that that pitch was called a strike. And that pitch down out of the strike zone, though. Sharp break to it, but out of the zone. This one off the end of the bat and. Carlos Pena to the backhand. Flips it to Mendez. That'll do it for the Angels here in the fourth. Going to the bottom of the fourth inning. Still 13-2 Halos.
offense has been on fire. Calhoun triples, Albert Pools set up the middle approach. Josh Hamilton, one of his two doubles. Perfect swing on the inside part of the plate by Crone, Hank Conger, and then punctuated with a three-run home run to dead center field by Mike Try, one of his three hits in the game. Cole Calhoun, triple, double, single, looking for the cycle. Here at the bottom of the fourth inning, Texas sending up Smolinski, Pena, and Torinos. Five, six, and seven. Hector Santiago with a couple of strikeouts, one walk, and uh, three hits allowed. Smolinski doubled home two runs in the first. Takes way outside. Lines this for the left center field. Another hit. Hamilton cuts it off to the back end and bobbles it. Out of go is a single and an error. But let's get pulled up. He was going to not go anywhere. That pitch was up again. So both pitches that Smolinski's picked up his hits on a bit off speed and up in the zone. So he's on board for Pena. A high fly ball to deep right in the first inning. Caught by Calhoun. Carlos over one. Now they're giving Smolinski a double. Spares Hamilton his uh, fifth error. Three infielders on the right side. Kendrick out at shallow right. Hector Santiago just threw his 57th pitch. 35 of it strikes. So one, two, three, second. Face four batters in the third. Break the ball rolled foul. In and out of the camera well. Now they're actually. Uh, Gonna credit Hamilton with an error, but it's a single candidate. In. The Angels there, 46th of the year. This one's out to center. Trout is there. Smolinski tagging from second. The throw is just a little bit late. Smolinski advances to third base. Now one out. And Trout got behind that baseball well. And a pretty good throw. Deep enough. Well, with Smolinski to tag up and go to third. Well thrown. And that's something that Mike Trout has worked on. From long toss. Accurate throw. And getting behind the throw well. Robinson Chirino's a strikeout victim in a second. One for one. That's that off speed pitch. It was up again. He's thrown a couple of good off speed pitches that have been down, but uh, he's made several mistakes up. In the pitch selection, that's the right pitch selection, but location for him wasn't there. I do like what I've seen as far as his changeup at times in this game. Fouled off to the right. By that reaction that Hector missed location there on the fastball, but still because of change up the pitch before that fastball, he's late on. Time was called. Four runs in the first, six in the second, three in the third for the Angels. Two runs in the first for Texas. Upstairs. 
Ball and two strikes. Off speed, sky to center. Will be deep enough to score Spolinski. As he trots home. 13 3 Angels. Two outs now here in the fourth. If you can get this next batter, it will be an unearned run. Yep. And see the error by Hamilton. Torino's picks up his 28th run batted in. Leonis Martin, the center fielder, lined out to Hamilton in the second. So for one. Mentioned uh, earlier that the Oakland defeated the Giants today, six to one. And just needed a victory, remain three and a half back in the West. Break the ball outside. Oakland and Seattle will do battle over the weekend. Seattle will take on Minnesota later tonight. Wrap up their series. Seattle seven games over 500 himself. The AL West. Great records. The top three in the division. Yeah. Seattle's lost two now against uh, Minnesota. Time called last minute. Halos in the fifth will have Conger Calhoun and Trout coming up. Probably the duck down. Two balls, two strikes. Those three in the order are eight for eight. Conger, two for two. Calhoun and Trout, three for three. Two two. Got him looking. Down goes Martin. Third strike out of the night for Hector Santiago. Texas gets a run on the sack fly by Torinos. We'll head to the fifth. 13 3 Angels. Angels baseball is brought to you by Jack in the Box, the new jalapeno ranch or barbecue ultimate cheeseburger. By Time Warner Cable, enjoy better. By the 2014 Camry at your Toyota dealer today, we make it easy. And by AT&T U-verse TV, rethink possible. Gorgeous shot of downtown Dallas. We are in Arlington, just about halfway between Dallas and Fort Worth. Game one of a four-game series, first visit of the year. Arlington, 13-3 Angels. 9 1 and 2 coming up for the Angels to face Roman Mendez, who uh, issued a leadoff walk in the fourth inning, but then retired the next three in a row. He's gone inning and two thirds so far, throwing 27 pitches. Looks like Texas might get in and might be getting some action going in their bullpen. 
Might be the last in for Mendez. Hank fouls back the first one. Two singles, two runs score for Conger. And we showed it on one of the highlight reels uh, going to break. But uh, that first swing, it's Colby Lewis, base hit up the middle. The approach that uh, we kept talking about for Hank. He's got the ability to drive the ball the other way up the middle. And he does that so well when you watch him in batting practice. That is, that's his approach for the first couple rounds of BP. And you like to be able to see Hank be able to take that into the game. They don't overshift here. But nobody on. One ball, two strikes. Matt West getting ready now for Texas. One, two. Called strike three on the outside corner. Mislocation. It looks like Torino's wanted it on the inside part of the play, but it got the zone. Cole Calhoun coming up right now. First at bat, triples down the right field line. Second at bat, doubles right over the base of the first down the right field line. And then a single to left center field. Well placed with an opportunity to hit for the cycle here. First one on the way. Cole goes out and foul off his leg. Club history as far as cycles. Mike Trout, the last to do so. Sean Figgins, Jack Devannon, Dave Winfield, Don, Dan Ford, and Jim Fergosi did it twice. Remember that Dave Winfield one? 1991. Complete the cycle in the home run off of Bill Bacoda, as I recall. Came in the pitch in that game, third baseman normally for the Royals. Missed outside. One ball, one strike. Twenty five runs batted in for Calhoun with the RBI double in the second. Pulls this one to first. Pena bobbles it for a second. Mendez is covering and they get the out at first. Two down. First time tonight that uh, Texas has retired the first two batters to have started in. And it'll pick up Trout with the bases clear. Trout three for three, two singles and a home run, four runs batted in tonight. Takes a strike. Seventh four hit game, or pardon me, three hit game for uh, Trout this year. He's not had a four hit game this season. And he's matched his uh, season high as RBIs in a ball game with four. Fourth time he's done that. One one. This one's pulled through the hole on the left side. A two out base hit. So there it is. First four hit game. Bobbled for a second by Smolinski, but Trout not going anywhere. Pujols will bat here with a man on at two outs. Now we'll have that batting average over 310 now. For Trout. Breaking ball. Down. And hit well once again. First couple of pitches in that bat against Trout were fastballs up. 
through a slider was down and was hit well once again by Trout. So Mendes now has faced the uh, entire Angels lineup. Pools was the first guy that he faced with one out in the third. Got Albert to ground out. The pools one for two. 14th hit for the Angels tonight. Down leave it up at one and one. Trout, by the way, has scored three times tonight. Now he scored 63 times this year. He came into uh, tonight's action, third in the American League. Brian Dozier, second baseman for the Twins, 65 runs. Kinsler for the Tigers, 62. Trout at 60, but now Trout with 63. One ball, two strikes. Staying off speed on Pujols. The 10th four hit game of his career for Mike Trout. Last time he did it was here in July, July 30th. It's Texas. His 10 career home runs coming in this game now, 11 career home runs against the Rangers. Fastball away, and it's fouled off to the right. Cal remains with one ball, two strikes. Top of the fifth with two outs and a man off. Dr. Santiago getting the start today. Three strikeouts, one walk, four hits allowed for him. Angels chased Kobe Lewis in the third. Jammed with a fastball hit. Shortly for Trout at first. Yet another one, too. This is on the left side. Got away with a hanging breaking ball, Albert, just out in front. Fourth pitch of the night, fourth coming. Albert shoots one out towards center field. That ball's hit well. Martin, good speed, tracking it down, makes the catch shy of the track to end the inning. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth. Halos leading at 13 to 3.
moment. Back in 1962, John F. Kennedy becomes the first president to throw the ceremonial first pitch at an All-Star game. It was at D.C. Stadium. Were you there? Did you make the trek from Philadelphia? <laughs> I was born then, though. 9 1 and 2 for Texas here in the bottom of the fifth. Rosales, Chu, and then Odor. Couldn't quite make the drive down there at that point, though. <laughs> Good year, though. In the old station wagon with no seat belts. <laughs> and makes lots of noise as it was driving. Put the, uh, the laundry basket in the, in the back of the. Uh, the family truckster and just slide around as mom and dad drive, yeah, especially with four boys in that oh. station wagon. That's always a good thing. Been you there. well know that I, one. <laughs> four boys in my family too. But it was usually my mom driving to spring training. Dad was already there with four boys. Yeah, smart man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Santiago, three strikeouts, one walk. A great woman doing that, no doubt. Adam Rosales, a fly ball to center, his first time up. Down and hit. Two balls, two strikes. Now I'm swinging off speed pitch and a beauty. Folks Tuesday baseball's best will gather at target field in Minneapolis. Derek Jeter taking the field in his last all star game ever. Special coverage begins at 1 30 on Fox Sports 1 followed by the 2014 mid summer classic at 4 30 only on Fox. Serious talent now the AL squad has Eric Ibar on there. With that glove and extra base capabilities. Rangers DH Shin Su Chu swinging through the breaking ball. Chu one for two with a base hit and a strikeout. Pulls off that one, rolls a foul. It's one and two. Free agent signing in the offseason. Big contract for him. Swapping contracts with Detroit. Kinsler going to the Tigers. Fielder coming to Texas. Fielder, of course, out for the rest of the year. Called strike three, got him looking. Down goes Chu. Two down. Another real good pitch. That one at 94 from Hector Santiago. Back to back. Punch outs. Paints the inside corner at 94. Second punch out of the game for Chu against Santiago. Strikeout number five for Hector. To go with the one walk, four hits. Now Rugned Odor steps up. First plate appearance for him. Elvis Andrews out of the game. The door took over at second, and Rosales moved over to short. Highly touted prospect. 258. This will be his 50th game. Three home runs, 17 runs batted in. 2 0. Oh. They want that two out letdown. Got to get through the fifth. High strike. Odor got a good good start in May. 281 and 262 in June. Down in the month of July. And that's kind of what happens with young players, especially as you start racking up at bats and the uh, league adjust to you. Yeah. Scouting reports get out. Seven for 33 this month. Some would argue that. Uh, he may have been the better option coming out of spring training. 
over Jerks and Profar, who's out for the year. Or has been out all year. Down goes Odor. A three strikeout inning for Hector Santiago. Five of the books. Angels still on top. Thiago had in the bottom of the fifth. Let's take a look at it. Pitch by pitch here by Hector. Fastball just off the inside corner. Cutter off the outside corner, but gets back in the count. High fastball. Then he runs a fastball in the inner half. Odor cannot make contact. Consistent contact. Then a very good hard slider to get a swing and miss. And Hector strikes out the side. That's a perfect punctuation to the bottom of the fifth. Put yourself in position to pick up a W. New pitcher on in relief for the Texas Rangers as Hector continues his conversation with Mike Butcher. This is right hander Matt West making his major league debut. Guy yeah, that was uh, selected by the uh, Texas Rangers in 2007 in the second round out of Houston, Texas, high school at Houston, Texas, as a third baseman. Didn't work out for him. He converted to pitching in 2010. He's worked his way up and will make his debut tonight. He'll face Hamilton, Ibar, and Kendrick. West has pitched a double A and triple A this year. He's combined to go four and two in 27 games, all in relief. Three saves, 37 and a third innings, 41 hits, 38 strikeouts, and 10 walks. Hamilton takes upstairs. Josh, two for three. Couple of doubles, two runs batted in, two runs scored. Struck out his last time up. Nice job by Ramon Mendez to uh, calm things down for the Texas Rangers. This is looped out toward left. Smolenski moving in and over, makes the ground, one away. Mendez went two and a third, pardon me, two and two thirds. One hit, three strikeouts, one walk, no runs. As West retires, his first major league hitter. Brings up Eric Ibar. And always the advantage for a pitcher with hitters have not seen you before. Eric one for two with a couple of runs batted in. Takes outside. West, by the way, seven seasons as a hitter. Pretty much in the first four were a, kind of a full time type of approach. Offensively, hit 241, 22 home runs, 150 runs batted in his career. It's a guy you could use on your roster, swing the bat. A former closer for the Angels, Troy Percival started out his career as a catcher. Dave Steed, great Toronto Blue Jay, started as an outfielder for Toronto before converting to pitching. Had a very, very good career himself. Ibar swinging a miss on the fastball. So it won. 
Trevor Hoffman. Infielder in the Cincinnati Reds organization. Came up. Pretty good closer. <laughs> you think? <laughs> One of the best change-ups and best yeah. songs to enter a game ever. Two one. Downstairs. Three balls, one strike. Well, somewhere along the line, someone said he's got a pretty good arm, and if it doesn't work out offensively, we will. Uh, Wasn't it Gondo too, the pitcher when he was for the Rangers? Gondo, when he yeah. at one point he was a position player also. He was. He was originally up top of my head with the Oakland A's in their minor league system. Signed at 02 by uh, by Oakland. High bar, we'll float around to a shallow left center. Two outs. Hey folks, July 23rd, the Angels take on the Orioles at 7:05. Fans in attendance will receive a beach blanket courtesy of Experian while supplies last. Purchase tickets today at the Angel Stadium ticket office or by logging on at Angels.com. Two up, two down. Now Kendrick coming to the plate. Texas, by the way, got Ogando in the uh, Rule 5. 2005. Watch out. Off speed pitch. Sailing right over the head of Howie. It's another injured pitcher for the Rangers right now. Overthrown breaking ball behind Howie Kendrick. Kendrick 0 for 2. Did have a sack fly in the first inning. Taking up his 42nd RBI. A four run first for the Angels. Texas answered with two at the bottom of the first. The Angels offense kept it rolling. Went around, says uh, Ron Copeland. One ball, two strikes. Six runs in the second for the Angels, three in the third. Texas got uh, a run in the fourth. 13 to 3 is where we stand now here in the sixth. All the injuries that the, the Rangers have suffered this year, putting them by last as far as pitching is concerned. Staff ERA 4.82. Starters at 4.98. Relievers at 4.53. And that bullpen. Very well used by Ron Washington. Mike Max. Grab ball to third. Belcher's got it. A nice major league debut for Matt West. A 1, 2, 3, 6. We'll head to the bottom of the inning. Halo still leading it by 10.
minutes here. Here for batting practice. All behind the uh, the Angels dugout. After Santiago back out for the sixth. 82 pitches, five innings so far. Six strikeouts, one walk. He struck out the side in the fifth. He'll face Rios, Beltre, and Smolinski from Texas here in the sixth inning. Hector vying for his uh, first win as an angel. Four hits allowed. Rios takes it inside. Rangers right fielder 0 for 1. Fielder's choice and a run score of the first, a walk in the third. Warm windy night here in Texas. Seeing the uh, the jet stream, a little effect tonight, a whole lot. Yeah, if you hit it on the line, it's going to carry well to center to the right center. But if you hit it high, not as much. Three balls and a strike. See the flags pointing in like that from right field. A little south wind blowing. Fell off the right. Full count. It's a jet stream out the right center. We saw the one uh, go back. As a matter of fact, to Carlos Payne in the first inning. After the double by Smolenski, he the sky went out to deep right center field and got hung up and hit it literally too high. Wind knocks it down. 3 2 got him to chase. Good comeback in that at bat for Hector Santiago. Five consecutive strikeouts for the lefty. That two seamer had some good running action away. Beltre coming up. A little conversation between Santiago and Conger. Beltre one for two. Singleton scored in the first. Popped up the shallow right field to end the third. Ninety pitches now thrown by Santiago. Those pitches he's thrown this season, 119. But we're talking a long time ago. That was back on April the 20th. And ideally for Mike Sochi, he'd like to see some innings out of Hector tonight. Must be getting finished off this inning and get one more at least after seven pitches were used yesterday. Evens up the count. And two balls, two strikes on that foul ball. Corey Rasmus is up and loosening in the Angels' pen. We're called before the game today. Camp Drosian option back out. This one down the right field line, headed toward that corner, and that is gone. Off the wall and into the seats. A solo home run for Adrian Beltre's 13th of the year. And it's 13 to 4 Angels. What a season he's continued to have, even with the Rangers being down so far this year. 50 RBI. Fastball that was up. We talked about that a lot with Beltre. Anything upstairs with a fastball or break a ball, it's going to be hit well. And this went off the top of the wall and then out. Hands inside the baseball, using the barrel of the bat and going the other way for Beltre. And anything elevated, he's going to swing well at. 
Spolinski's done the same thing twice tonight on elevated pitches. A two RBI double in the first, a single to lead off the fourth. It's one ball, no strikes on the Rangers left fielder. 68th home run hit by the Texas Rangers this year. They came in 12th in the American League. Smoliski skies on the left. Comes in a couple of steps. Two outs. Five pitches thrown by Santiago, 59 strikes. Two outs, nobody on. It's Carlos Payne. First baseman over two, a couple of fly ball outs. Four runs for Texas, three earned the run that scored in the fourth inning. An unearned run because of the Hamilton error. Handles in the seventh have the bottom third of their order coming up and freeze, Claude, and Conger. Two balls, one strike, more than likely the last inning for uh, Santiago. Next pitch will match his uh, last downing against the Houston Astros. Three and one now. It could be fairly uh, easy here. Three one. You got a nine run lead. Fastball. Yeah. Trying to get that last out. And throw that exact same one. That was a relaxed 93 on the fastball. Under pitch now. 24 pitches in the first inning. 21 in the third. At one point had struck out five straight batters. Down goes Pena. And the Rangers are down here in the sixth. Beltre's 13th of the year gives them a run. The Angels lead at 13 4.
with a 2.71 versus Nick Tepish. Fastball himself, three and four with a 4.29. Has nine starts this year for the Rangers. Richards has been dominant of late. Learning so much sitting next to Jared Weaver. Important, just like we see Albert Pujols and Mike Trout together a lot. You see those two together a lot, learning. It's invaluable when you're a young pitcher to have a veteran like Jared Weaver around to be able to talk to, learn stuff during the course of the time sitting on the bench. Getting that start tomorrow, perhaps uh, maybe at some point this weekend, getting the nod to go to Minneapolis. See how the uh, the rest of the weekend shakes out. David Freeze leading things off here against Matt West. His major league debut in the sixth inning, retired all three batters. Also here Tanaka, by the way, who was placed on the DL by New York and replaced on the roster by Koji Wehara. As a partial tear in the ligament, I think the Yankees are going to try to rehab the ligament. If the rehab doesn't work, then uh, they have to opt for Tommy John surgery. It's another blow to the Yankees. And we've heard that phrase too often this season. Yep. Ground ball over to second. Odor's got it. Three is retired. He's over four tonight. Monday key to the game. We are tonight. The focus on this game tonight for Mike Sosha's club. First on this road trip here, four games here in Texas after an outstanding homestand. Well done so far. Great at bats. And a solid effort by Hector Santiago on the mound. CJ Crow, the DH, one for three. Single that scored back in the second. Takes down the way. Crow ahead of the count of two balls, no strikes. Line to right. Rios is there. Makes the catch. Two outs. Well squared up by CJ Crow and trying to go the other way. And that's the approach you want to take on the pitch located on the outside part of the plate. Hit well, but right at Rios. Some real good, consistent approaches during the course of this game. Corey Rasmus warming up more than likely will come in the game. Don Baylor, first game on the road this season. Seeing some solid results right away. 13 run output, 14 hits for the Halos. We're talking about that with Jose Mota on the pregame show that uh, the approach for the Angels over the last uh, couple of weeks, but especially with men in scoring position, much, much better. Using that middle part of the field, taking what's given to you, capitalizing. One ball, one strike on Conger now. So much more room to be successful when you use that middle part of the field. It's good to see Don on this road trip. Two balls, one strike. Conger, a two for three night, couple of singles and a strikeout. Three and one. Cole Calhoun on deck. Cole a home run shy of a cycle tonight. Three for four. Triple double single and a ground out. Three one on the way. Good rip by Hank. 
Full count. 13 runs, 14 hits, one error, two left on for the Angels. Texas with four runs, five hits, two errors. They've stranded two. Santiago looks like uh, will be done after six innings. Five hits, including the home run to Beltre. Eight strikeouts, one walk, four runs, three earned. 3 2. Fouled off the left. Two big miscues tonight for uh, Texas. A foul pop up. Off the bat of Cole Calhoun, and Elvis Andrews did not make a play on. Calhoun then doubled down the right field line, and then the fly ball that Rios should have caught at the track off the bat of Pujols. And Kiger goes down swinging. First big league strikeout for West. Seventh inning stretch time at Texas, 13 4 Angels. Get a fast free quote at MercuryInsurance.com today and see how much you can save. And buy Hyundai. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Globe Life Park shot of uh, this four-game series here in Arlington. Halo is up 13 to four. Bottom third of the order coming up for Texas. They'll be facing a new pitcher. Is right here to Corey Rasmus. Comes into the ball game, replacing Hector Santiago. Called up before the game today to uh, take the spot. Of the newly disabled C.J. Wilson with a sprained ankle. Last was 12 games this year, two no record, and even three ERA. Before getting sent down, Triple A so threw the ball very, very well. Rasmus last pitched on to Friday, two and a third, and now one against Houston. A lot of hits, struck out two and walked one. Eligible to be called up prior to the 10 days because of the injury to CJ. An injury that uh, we found out about today. Trino swinging at the first one, hits a fly ball to right. And Calhoun moving toward the foul line, puts it away. One pitch, one out to start the seventh. Angel fans, we want to put you in the programming chair. Visit Fox Sports West Facebook page and vote for three Angels games you would like to relive from the first half of the 2014 season. We will re-air the top three vote getters on Thursday, July 17th, right here on Fox Sports West. So we've been some very good games, some great comebacks. Yep. We previewed one uh, Angels live. 
A walk off by Mike Trout. His first career walk off. It's a Tampa Bay Rays. Had four walk off home runs this year. Two by Trout, Calgill, Ionetta. Earl Campbell just passed by our booth. Got the old mascot uh, races here. Earl's wearing his uh, Houston Oilers unit. Boy, was he good. Yeah. There he is. That's what he looked like. It felt like when he was actually playing, too. He was that large. <laughs> that tough to bring down. I remember that one Monday night game. I can't remember who was against Miami. Whoever that Monday night game was unbelievable. They had over 200 yards rushing. Nobody could tackle him. Texas Legends race, they call it here. 1 1 to Martin on the corner, 1 and 2. They don't have running backs like that anymore, do they? No. Passing game now, the NFL. Swing and a miss, down goes Martin. Two outs. Second time he struck out in the game. Two up, two down here to start to seven. Adam Rosales now at the plate. Rosales over two, a fly ball to center and a strikeout. Looks at a strike. Folks taking picture with Earl Campbell up here. They're calling him Earl. They might actually think he's the he, real Earl, Earl he could Campbell. Be. I'm assuming you're a big fan of those uh, unis. As they were the baby blues as Rosales skies went to run. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, any for Corey Rasmus. We head to the eighth here. Halos on top 13 to four. Eighth inning, 13 to 4 Angels. Well, Calhoun, a three for four game. He's a home run shy of the cycle. First time up, a triple down the line. Eventually scored on the throwing error by Adam Rosales. Second time up in the second, an RBI double down the line. Eventually came around to score. And then in the third, a single just beyond the reach of Elvis Andrews. He had no idea where that ball was at. He thought he had popped it out. He knew he was going to get a hit. Yeah. He's been on fire. New pitcher coming on now for Texas, Aaron Parada. 
left to takes over for Matt West, who had two innings in his major league debut. Faced six batters and retired all six. Pareda pitching now his 26th game. It's a two and one record at a 5 3 1 ERA. Three hit game taking Cole's average to 302. First one upstairs. Pareda pitched in Tuesday's game against Houston. A lot of career high hits and runs, five hits, three runs all earned. Cole cuts through that one. He was up to count of one ball, one strike. Pareda with a good fastball, you make good contact and go a long way. Third appearance in the big leagues with Texas this year. He's been up and down. Two balls, one strike. Colby Lewis got the start tonight for Texas. Two in the third innings. Career high allowed at runs. Hits. 13 runs, 11 earned, 13 hits. Including the home run to Mike Trout it was the last batter he faced in that third inning. Two and two. That's capped the scoring for the Angels, too. Ramon Mendez scoreless two and two thirds, and now West is scoreless two. This one back up the middle and a base hit. Not a home run, but he'll pick up his fourth hit of the night. Now it's time for the top tier play of the game brought to you by Arco. In the third inning, we have two infield hits by Trout, two men on, a three run home run. She not you, Cole Lewis, out of the game with that swing. 21st home run of the season for Trout. Four RBI performance. Never had five hits. Looks at a strike. Not a bad one, two in tonight's game. Eight for nine. Cole Calhoun's third career four hit game. Check swing, bouncer foul. No balls, two strikes. Last angel to have a, a five hit game. Mark Trumbull, September 10, 2013. I was at Toronto at the Rogers Center. Five for five, three doubles, a home run, two runs batted in, scored five runs. One and two. Trying to stay upstairs with a fastball. He likes hitting in this ballpark. 386 career hitter here with eight home runs. 23 RBI. Foul back. Calhoun, a leadoff single to start the safe filling. 15th of the night for the Angels. Nobody working in the pen for the Angels. Of course, Rasmus used to come back out, had a very quick and economical seventh inning, a one, two, three frame. Hector Santiago, six solid innings, four runs, three earned, five hits allowed, eight strikeouts tonight. Ties a season high. Strikeouts in the game for Hector. At eight against Oakland back on June 10th. Oh, they got a hard breaking ball down and in. One down. 
Folks, follow every Angel game with MLB.com at bat on your favorite mobile phone or tablet. Get live look-ins, instant replays, scores, stats, audio, free MLB.tv game of the day, and Gooby's favorite more. More. Download on the App Store and log on at Angels.com today. Albert Pujols up with Calhoun at first. Pena playing behind him at first base. Pujols a one for three game. Albert picked up a 61st run batted in. Second inning. He's credited with a sack fly on the ball that uh, Rios dropped in right field. Rios was charged with an error. Gets away from Chirinos and Calhoun will advance on the wild pitch. Now they'll uh, talk things over here with the man at second base. Halos tonight, six for ten with men in scoring position. With five for eight yesterday in the eight seven victory over Toronto. Two balls, one strike. Foot. Second time he's done that tonight. A hard breaking ball down it is. And a fastball count. Off the instep. Tough pitch if Parada's got it working. He'll throw a nasty one to try to strike him out. Especially when you're throwing 97 98. This is out to right field. That's going to get down for a hit and it will bring home a run. Albert with his second hit and second run batted in tonight. 14 4 Angels. Continues to be an RBI machine. And a 62 RBI. And the season for Albert and using the whole field. A pinch runner here now for Pujols. John McDonald will come out and pinch run for him. One out, one on, and Josh Hamilton will step up now. Figure McDonald will go to third. He frees over the first. As Hamilton pulls one into right field, that'll get down for a base hit. Third hit of the night for Josh. He'll head to second. It's his third double. McDonald ends up at third base. To see Josh getting hot now against the lefty here too stays with it drives in the right field third double the game. It's the second time in his career in which he's had three doubles in one game. The other time July 15 2010 against the Red Sox at Fenway. Giving him 11 on the season. The two men in scoring position with one run in, one out, infield back. Eric Ibar spins around to hit from the right side. A one for three game for Eric. Aimed at the All Star team before the game. And he'll take low. Alex Gordon dealing with the, uh, a sore wrist. That's who Ibar replaced on the American League roster. Ibar with already two RBI in this game, looking for more. 47 in the season. Ground ball to short. Rosales has it. The run will score. 
Make it 15 to 4 Angels. Eric is third RBI of the night. Hamilton ends up at third. Two outs now. Kendrick up. Now we hitless tonight. Over three. Zach Fly in the first. Takes just off the plate. Fifteen runs put on the board by the Angels, the most they've scored this year in a game. Passing the 14, they hung on the Mets on April 13th. The hit total tonight, 17, matches the hit total from that game as well. Oh, that is. Talk about in someone's kitchen right there. Yeah, that, that running fastball, whether it's his fastball running in or his hard slider down in here. It's impossible if you make contact to keep that fair. One, two. Missed inside. This is the seventh game this year in which the Angels have scored 10 or more runs as Kendrick skies went to right center. Leonis Martin is there. That'll do it for the Angels. They tack on two more runs as we head to the bottom of the eighth inning. 15 to 4 Angels. Hashtag West fan photo and your photo could be shown in an upcoming game broadcast. Seth Sumpkin. We appreciate the photo. Keep firing them in there. Hanging out the parking lot at the big A. <laughs> They've overtaken one of the mopeds. Again. Couple of changes. For the Angels, Rasmus still the ball game. John McDonald stays in the game. He is over at the shortstop. Colin Calgill takes over in center for Mike Trout. The Angels have given up their DH as CJ Crone is at first. Chu, Odor, and Rios face Rasmus. Second inning of relief for him. It's off the end of the bat foul. Shinsu Chu, one for three tonight. 
Single back into first. CJ Crone's got this one, waves off Rasmus. One down. Well, Corey's done a nice job throwing a lot of strikes. Gets some quick outs. It's four outs, he's only throwing 10 pitches so far. It's Chris Jimenez, a backup catcher, getting ready to pitch the ninth inning. Rugnet Odor steps up with one out, nobody on. Odor 0 for 1. Struck out in the fifth. Took over at second base back in the fourth. So no word as to why Elvis Andrews was taken out of the game. Hector Santiago tonight, four runs, three earned, six innings of work. Zodor so shoots one out to left center. Hamilton racing over, reaches up, makes the catch, and then tumbles, hangs on to it. Two down. And that's great technique as far as when you're going to dive for a ball to roll over on your shoulder, not using it and getting your wrist injured as you dive for a baseball like that. Covered a lot of ground. The dive and able to tuck his shoulder underneath. And prevent from jamming your wrist. Excellent job by Josh Hamilton. Great technique. Covered a lot of ground, that great speed, and, and able to roll over and make a nice play. Two outs, nobody on, and Alex Rios at the plate. Rios tonight, 0 for 2, walked to the third. One ball was strike. Assuming the Angels hang on here and pick up the victory tonight, Dr. Santiago will collect his first win of the year. This is his first victory since August 18th of last year. Let's remember the White Sox. Foul back. And if he does, we'll break it all down for you on Angels Live post game. Presented by your SoCal Mazda Dips. Lots of great down. Lots of good swings. Good effort by Hector Santiago. One, two. This is popped up. Shallow center. Kendrick going out. And another one, two, three inning for Corey Rasmus. Six up, six down for the Angels right hander. We head to the ninth. Angels leading at 15 4.
one. Then it's baseball night in America on Fox as Mike Trout and the Halos take on the Texas Rangers. Our MLB doubleheader begins Saturday, 12:30 p.m. Pacific on Fox Sports One. Continues at 4 p.m. Pacific on Fox, and also streaming live on Fox Sports Go. We will be on the hill for the Halos in that game against the Rangers. Yeah. Speaking of being on the hill, it's uh, Chris Jimenez, the catcher, the backup catcher, seeing action on the mound for the first time in his major league career, at least that I could find. Takes over. For Aaron Pareda, who went one inning and allowed two runs on three hits. And one base runner to give Calhoun another opportunity to hit for the cycle. David Freeze looks at a strike. It'll be followed by Crone and then Conger. David tonight 0 for 4. Drew Rasinski getting ready for the Angels in the bullpen. He went around. No balls, two strikes. Rasinski will be making his major league debut. There he is. 25 year old. This year, double A's a starter. Upstairs. One ball, two strikes now. He's trying to close this one out for uh, Texas here. And not use another bullpen on. There he fouls it off. Colby Lewis got knocked down in the third. Mendez went two and two thirds. West two. Pareda one. And now Jimenez here in the ninth. Ground ball towards short. Rosales has it. One down. Well, the only two guys not to reach, started ones in this game. Howie Kendrick and David Freeze, both key contributors in that six and one uh, homestead. And that, that's what we've been saying so, yeah. so often of late is it's always somebody picking up the other guy. Showed that graphic earlier in the game, in which there was eight players in the lineup for the Eagles in the, during that homestead, in which they were six and one and had two or more RBI. Oh, what count on Crow? Impressive balance. Crone pops one up on the third base side, headed toward the seats. Times as a hitter, when you see a position player on the mound, you're just thinking, hey, he's just going to go after me with a fastball. I'm going to try to crush it. He's throwing a number of pitches that have been up. It's so difficult as a hitter not to go after a fastball. That you're thinking you can still get on top of and drive well. One ball, two strikes. The old up and in fastball. Setting him up. Look for the slider now. Catcher on the mound. <laughs> Catchers used to call that up and in fastball. Change piece. <laughs> he went soft away. <laughs> Two down. That's a pretty good change up. Well out in front. 75 mile an hour pitch. So two outs, nobody on, and Hank Conker at the plate. Hank two for four with a couple of singles, a couple of punch outs. 
I mean, everyone on that bench would love to see Hank reach base here somehow, some way to give Cole Calhoun that opportunity. One more swing to hit for the cycle. Cole four for five tonight. Two singles, a double, and a triple. Halos with the 15 runs now. Have scored 460 runs on the year. And even with Oakland's six runs on the board. And their win tonight against the Giants. The Angels are the top scoring team in the American League. As Jimenez works a one, two, three inning. We're heading to the bottom of the ninth. Halos all over the Rangers. Cole, unfortunately, a little frustrated. Pitcher on for the Angels is right hander Drew Rasinski called up for the game today, added to the 40 uh, man roster as the Angels uh, designated for assignment left hander Nick Baranda. Rasinski, 25 year old, product of the Ohio State University. Oh, Terry Smith will be yeah. happy. The 17 starts at double A was 7 and 4 and a 2.35 ERA. Not drafted out of Ohio State, pardon me, the, the Ohio State University. Signed with the Cleveland Indians. Pitched a little bit in their minor leagues, lower levels. Pitched an independent ball. The Angels signed him. He's been in their system a couple of years. Did a terrific job at Double A. Here he is. Making a great his story. Debut. Great, great story when you think about it. Perseverance has done very well in Double A. Very good ERA, 2.35. Split finger fastball to go along with a slider curve. And fastball. Born in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Last year, independent ball, as well as Inland Empires. The first one is up and away, Adrian Beltre. We've had a couple of uh, Major League debuts on the mound tonight. Beltre, two for three with a single and a home run. Ground ball to the left side, and it's a three hit game for Adrian Beltre. Leadoff man on board for Texas. 28th pitcher used this season by the Halos. Club record is 29 back in 1996. The Rangers have used 29 pitching, Yankees 26. Rangers, two more pitchers tonight making their debut on the mound. Daniel Robertson takes over as the pitch runner over at first base for uh, Beltre. Jake Smolinski looks at a strike. Smolinski, two hit game. 
two RBI double in the first, a single in the fourth, fly to left in the sixth. Downstairs. Sinking fastball. Davids up the count of one ball, one strike. Outside. Two balls, one strike. Trying to close it out for uh, Hector Santiago. In mind for his first win since August of last year. It's very well. Six solid innings, four runs, three earned, five hits, eight strikeouts for Hector. Two on now. Smoliski pulls one down the line. That's a fair ball. Ricochets off the wall. Robertson will come in to score. Smolinski over at second. And it's 15 to 5. And that's his third. Let me get second double. The second on that error by Josh Hamilton. Back in the fourth. Solid three hit game. Sink in action to stay with it. And what you see from Smolinski, he likes fastballs on the inner half of the plate. Smolinski wins the battle of the skis here in the night. Three runs batted in for him tonight. Carlos Payne to step up. Still nobody out here tonight. Seventh hit now for Texas. Carlos Pena is 0 for 3. A couple of fly ball outs and a strikeout. Speed pitch in there for strike one. He's trying to relax in the mound. That's not an easy thing to do when you're fulfilling your dream and opportunity to pitch at the major league level. Off speed, roll to the right side. Crone's got it to the backhand. Basinski is there. One down. Smolenski advanced to third. Robinson Chirinos will come to the plate. Chirinos over two. And a sacrifice fly in the fourth. Ball one strike. Tigers defeating the Royals tonight, 15 to four. Baltimore over Washington, four to three. This is broken bat single to right. That'll bring in another run, 15 to six here. Chirinos picks up his second RBI. So Leonis Martin will bat. He'll look at a strike. Ranger center fielder 0 for 3 with a fly ball to left and a couple of strikeouts.
foul back. Well, Lakita Fastball there, 93. He's been 93, 94. It's been his off speed pitch. Hasn't been able to locate exactly where he wants to get. That's a difficult one. When you have that energy and the butterflies, your first appearance at the major league level, overthrowing an off speed pitch. No balls, two strikes on Martin. As he shoots one to short and has passed John McDonald, another hit. That's the fourth hit allowed by Rosinski here tonight. And Adam Rosales will bat. Mike Butcher is going to pay a visit. Nobody yeah. listening in the pen for the Angels. It looked like originally Rosinski was going to throw a split finger fastball 0 2, but went back, st stepped off the pitching rubber, went to a fastball, and Martin went right back up the middle with a fastball. Back on it tomorrow here at Globe Live Park. Gary Richards going to be against Nick Tepish. Just live and kick things off at 4 30. Right here in Fox Sports West. Right now, just trying to wrap up this ninth inning. Pick up the first one of this four game set. Adam Rosales 0 for 3. And he gets hit by a pitch now. So they're loaded up. It looks like they're looking to make sure he didn't make an attempt to swing or if that didn't hit the handle of the bat. So she's looking at Dino Ebel. The top of the order now in Shin Su Chu. Chu tonight one for four. Off speed pitch. He runs that one inside in the hand. Foul back going too. Mike Morin playing catch now. Well, the last thing you wanted to do. Breaking ball called strike three down goes Chu, two outs third strike out of the night for Chu. First major league strikeout. Around it just off the outside corner. It's the call when you're close enough on the outside part of the plate you will get some calls. Hunter is very good as far as a framing pitch in the corners. Two outs, bases loaded. Rugned Odor at the plate. Takes outside. Over two tonight with a strike out of fly ball to left. He's had nice play by Hamilton. Left center field. Torino's at third. Martin at second. Rosales at first. 1 0. Popped up on the infield. John McDonald calls for it. Like that baby up as the Angels take game one against Texas. 15 to 6, the final. Boy, what a job by the offense. First inning, four runs. Second inning, six runs. Third inning, three runs. 17 hit attack. Zinski able to finish off the game, get that game ball. So that will always remember Josh Hamilton with three doubles in the game. Four hit performance by Cole Calhoun. Four hit performance by Mike Trout, including a three run home run. Balanced throughout once again by the Halos. 
15 runs, a season high, 17 hits, matching a 